there a guy called, asked, called Bear Building 22 who asked you questions? Don't think so. He's asked me um, bare building twenty two. You've asked me, he asked me loads of questions. Like, every time I put a question box, up, he always asked me loads of questions. So I appreciate it. But he asked and he asked yesterday regarding like pressure and like how to deal with negative pressure and stuff. Did you, I don't know if you would have watched, but I basically no, kind I of no, stuff. Right. But I said I basically just said like I could easily view everything I do negatively, but I try to view it positively and embrace the fact that it's wicked the position I'm in and you want to embrace that, you want to enjoy it. And he's asked today because his all his questions always seem to be little bit on the negative side so he's asked how to resolve with being instinctively negative and naturally wanting to complain it's a difficult one it is isn't it it's like fundamentally it's you need to work on yeah, yourself yeah you need to work on yourself and right. it's harsh it's harsh to say but no but you do you need to like some people like that like i mean it's everybody has those days or those times but like if you are consistently down and negative you've got to look within and you've got to look at why like i would argue if that's the case it's probably partly down to your environment like what do you do on a daily basis what do you do for work what yeah. is your family life like what are your relationships like if all of those are negative then change them yeah like and if you can't change them which you can if you find it hard to change them then that's something you need to work on and communication would be really important like communicating with people at work or at home as to what is getting you down mm. but also like taking responsibility i think a lot of the time people go like oh well this happened so i feel i feel bad or I feel down it's like you don't have to like one thing that i try and say to clients is you don't have to act on your emotions all the time yeah it's like how often like do we like we'll have emotions but we won't act on them like a client will piss us off we won't then have a go at the client no. or be pissed off all day at everyone else like yeah. no we'll, we'll just accept it and move on or we'll communicate about it and move on or we'll communicate with the client that's frustrated us and tell them why they're frustrated us yeah. like i had someone the other day and this, this is quite a good example so in loughborough i was coming out of a junction and i had loads of time to to come out and and there was some cars coming towards me so i pulled out and i moved into the next line of traffic right mm -hmm. and i had loads of time but i just in for some reason i had an idea that this person was going to be pissed off at me because like you know when it's like, oh, I've got time, I'll just nip yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like it was nowhere near, they didn't have to slow down or anything. And this yeah. woman just looked at me and did that. So she just, for yeah, people yeah. on Spotify, she put a middle finger up at me. And I just laughed and I was like, yeah. I just feel sorry for people yeah. like that. Because like, yeah, that, and they've acted on their instincts of just- Straight being, away, she's they, gone. They, she probably had a bad day. Yeah. And I think, I've said this to clients before where like, you know when you just have a bit of a bad day and everyone has bad days, but like, it, and you hear that like, oh God, today's just not my day. Like this happened. When, when happened. was the last day that happened to you? Oh, I can't remember. Same. No, I can't remember. Because at all. you you create that environment. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, but when one thing happens to annoy you, it's like everything you look for something. Yeah. So like someone will just cut you up, and usually you go, yeah, it's what it is. But, but because you've had a bad day, it's like, oh my god, why? And it's just this is a why constant people, wave like, of negativity. But people old, start off their day. People start off their day with a negative mindset. They do things that are not positive for them, and then they complain, saying that they're not happy. Yeah. You know. Like I was just gonna say with Miles last year, and to be fair, it's just like he'll go. Oh, I was never stressed, but like yeah. almost every single voice note he'd send me, he'd he'd be like shouting at someone yeah. in, who was driving, and I'd be like, "Why do you care? Yeah. Like literally, why do you care? Like you shouldn't care. No. Like you've got more to worry about, and there's better and bigger things in life yeah. than somebody who can't drive. Like loads of people can't drive. It is what it is. Like." Yeah. And that's not just miles. That's like loads of people. How often do you have clients shout at someone in the oh, car yeah. or moan at someone and then they'll go, oh, fucking... It's like, why are you letting anything, like, even just get to you at all? Yeah. Like, I won't let anything get to me. No matter what, like, I won't let it get to me because it's like, what's the point? Like, yeah, It has to be something serious for me to be, like, affected. But that's maturity. Yeah, but know? even then, so, like, if something upsets me or something gets me down, I, I will then... Yeah, speak about it. Or yeah, I'll basically communicate with... The like, if me and Shannon ever have an argument, like yeah. like we've said, like, we're really good at communicating. Like, if we fell out with each other, we'd just talk about yeah. it. We'd be like, oh, what, what's pissed you off this? Yeah. Okay, right, I'm sorry, or I did this and I think this. With Shannon, like sometimes she just it's hard to get a word out of her. Yeah, like you'll say the same with Sanaya. Like yeah. it's not an argument, it's just we're trying to have a conversation. Yeah. We don't need to be like but I think a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah. But also again, that's something you have to work on. Like I've not always been like that. No. Like I've had to work on that and like when I feel down, and I've said this before on the podcast as well, when I get a feeling, I'll tell myself, I'll talk to myself yeah, and be like, Well I'm actually saying. I don't think that. Yeah. It's like I'll wake up and I'll go, Oh, I feel tired today. Yeah. And then I'll go, No, you don't don't tell yourself that you're going to feel it's worse. It's funny, I, like, I literally said to a client today, I was like, so I got sent today my, the reels from, you know, when I last filmed with Sam. Yeah. 
and I looked to myself and I was like, God, I look like really, really Yeah, you were trashed on that yeah. day. And I remember thinking to myself during the sets, God, I feel fucking bad today. Like, I feel really bad. But I remember telling myself multiple times, I feel fine. And if anybody was to ask me in the gym, Reese, how you doing, mate? I'd be like, sound all good, yeah, yeah feel, feel good. good. The amount of times I have to bullshit to myself or bullshit to other people that I was fine, but I was literally in between sets like, oh, Jesus How often Christ. do you see people walking around the gym like, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, as well? Yeah, it's like, you're it's making like, it worse yeah, for yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and I think it's so, the, the power of the mind is so, so, so strong in situations like that. And if you tell yourself, oh, I'm tired. That's what I mean by you tired. don't have to act on every emotion. No. Like I was saying this to a client the other day in his check-in. I was like, if you act on every emotion, every time you feel a bit tired, you go to bed. Yeah. You'd never do any work. You'd, you'd never make any money. Yeah. Every time you're a bit hungry, you eat, you'd get fat. Yeah. Every time you're, but do you not think it's that fight or flight? Like when a set gets tough or something, gets, something's hard. It's oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, you know, and that's why people in life, in physique development, in business, they don't make much progress because when it gets tough, people bottle it, which is normal if you're if that's your mindset. But yeah. you want to work upon that and think if you want to actually make progress. So, for example, this guy to answer his question, how to resolve what you need to work fundamentally on yourself yeah. and assess. Do you just want to be like pretty like meh average? If so, sound, carry on, be negative, your loss. Like you're the one who loses out because it's yeah, you. You've almost got to think like, do I want what, this for myself? What person do you want to be? Yeah. Not just like, oh, I, I'm a negative person. Yeah, but are you actually, or is that just how and you I remember, like, sort of in, think you in, are? In my teens, I remember like, I'd pick things that I didn't like about myself and I'd be like, I want to work on this. Like, I want to actually improve in this area. And is I, that I, why you did that YouTube video? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I want to. Hey guys, tell me what I need to improve on. <laughs> hey guys, but in all seriousness, like the thing is, Sam, people are if told. If you want a, uh, a bonus, bonus, mate, uh, go back on Reese's channel. First ever video. First video. Prop that on, mate, and uh, put it, make it real Genetics as well. Just because I had that one about the photo shoot, which really upset me. And I was really negative all week. Yeah. So there we I've go. been really negative since that. Have you? Yeah. No, I can tell. I got some hate from it. Josh Crogan taking the piss, Kez taking the piss, even my mum. Actually, my mum was like, oh, I thought you looked good. So, yeah. Sorry, mum, you thought I looked good. 